our um, talking about our cloud offering, as Fred mentioned, uh, it's for people that you know may not have the infrastructure or you know want to start out small, want to test drive for a while the software, whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter. It's really easy to get started using our cloud offering. Uh, you go to netterrain.com. Fred, I can hear you. Net sorry. That's all right. Netterrain.com. These uh, these days of uh, being um, everybody working at home, we have to get used to uh, these meetings and stuff online. Um, so if you go to netterrain.com, you sign up. There's a button here where you sign up. I'm already logged in with my personal email account right now. So um, there's the plans and pricing here that you can sign up, uh, the $98 starter package, and then if anything bigger, you call us basically. Um, again, this is if you want us to, you want to do sort of the online. We do, uh, Amazon is, is where we host um, and so on. We, we, we can also do more customized uh, SaaS cloud where we can do dedicated hardware and you know dedicated instance location if you prefer azure we, we do azure as well um you know if it's a depending on what you're looking for we can accommodate that in some cases so just uh, reach out to us and let us know so once you go here you sign up you get a 14-day trial you log in at the bottom it'll tell you you know you got x days left on your trial license so 14 days or whatever. So once it's, you know, once 14 days is up, you lose access to the system here. So, um, you know, just uh, if you got questions or, you know, something comes up and you're working on something and then you, you need a couple more days or whatever, just reach out to us. We're pretty flexible on those types of things. So when you do get logged in, this is what you effectively see. Actually, what you really see when you log in first is this. You go to help and under tutorials, um, I think it's the intro one that pops up. So you'll see this pop up on your screen, you know, what do you want to do? And you just walk through it. I mean, you can say, you know, no and exit, but I recommend you do these little tutorials. They literally take, um, no time, three minutes, right? Each one, it'll actually give you some good info on how to get started, how to use the software a little bit. Um, so I'd recommend you do that. It's, Again, takes no time and it certainly beats just pressing buttons um, kind of thing. So I am going to exit because I do sort of know how to use the software. So I got ants in my pants. So I'm going to click on that. So you get, you get this top level diagram. This is just a blank starting point page kind of thing. On the right is the catalog. So then you decide what you're going to do. I want to create some locations and other things. I usually like to start with something like a cloud type object drag my cloud object out, name it, you know, you could have multiple and just call this my network or something. My network. So that kind of thing. We'll move this down here. So there you go. And then if I double click, it drills down and then you get a sub diagram. And then from here, I can start to do other things too. Maybe I wanna bring a building in, maybe I wanna do some outside plant, add a dynamic map. So I could right click and add a map. You can also go up here, but you, know, you kinda of have to poke through the buttons. I like to right click. Uh, usually it gives you sort of the information you're looking for, you know, insert a node, insert a rack, those you can drag and drop, but you know, put a background in, a map, whatever the case may be. Um, so I'm in the Washington DC location. So Washington DC, there you go, click okay. All right, and then I can start to map things out. You know, if I wanna bring in some buildings or whatever, I could do that over here. Building, drag a building in, there you go. I mean, there's other buildings you could use too. Um, or you can create your own, I guess is what I should say. So I'll come over here and say, this is the Smith building. I'm not gonna say building because it's sort of redundant in the fact that it is the building. And um, maybe the uh, builds, building, there we go. So, you know, place your buildings wherever they belong. And then from there, you can start doing connections, links, right? I wanna lay a conduit between the buildings 
add some bend points kind of thing, right? So pretty easy to do, get started and so on. So if you are doing, um, you know, you want to use the net terrain uh, interface, you want to go out there and, um, you know, start doing some documentation. This is a certainly a great way to start. And then from there, you know, you can go in the buildings, add things like if you want to add a floor or a room, or maybe you just want to add a rack. You don't care about the other stuff. You can go through and search this by manufacturer, vendor kind of thing, the chat's worth. Uh, or you can do a search. There's a little search box here, search for things. Add a cabinet, go to devices, start to add devices, um, inside devices. Again, same thing, you can do a little search, try and find you know what it is you're looking for. I'm looking for a 6509, maybe something like that. Uh, there's a 6509E. Drag that in. I'm gonna, I don't like that one. I seem to be missing the icon for that one. Bring that guy in. So there you go. Double click, drill down, see slots and stuff. I don't know if these are mapped. If I have cards mapped for this particular one, I don't. It's okay. So that's the point. You know, you start to get into here and start to drag and drop and sort of create things. Now, if you want to try and automate things, you're like, well, I don't want to do all that. I just want to press a button and make magic happen. That, that's fine too. We, we have some options for magic. So we would, um, I'm going to show you a little bit of how to do that too. Before I do that, I, I don't know, I think we have a polling question. So let me launch that. I forgot about the PowerPoint slides because I'm not so. Uh, what do you currently use to document the network? Who we have Visio spreadsheets. My coworker knows everything about the network. That's my favorite. Hodgepodge of tools, nothing, and other. <laughs> I wonder what other covers. Uh, that would be, I guess, Notepad Plus, maybe, perhaps under other. I'm not sure. Uh, Visio is always popular. Excel is usually a pretty pretty big winner. The Hodgepodge. I would imagine it's a mix of everything. Hence the Hodge and the Podge. So we've got 30 seconds to wait for this. Um, we'll let that uh, cook for a little bit. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a tool, again, you want to get started. You don't want to spend a lot of dough. Uh, the 14 day trial of course is a great way to go. And then uh, adding on, you know, deciding, hey, I want to do, I want to do it longer term, sign up, credit card, whatever, uh, 98 bucks a month. Uh, gets you X objects, I don't know, 250, something like that. Um, so it's pretty, pretty good. Anyway, the winners, Visio and Spreadsheets as always. I do have a third runner up of other, so that's cool. Anyway, thanks for uh, participating in that, in that poll. And uh, we'll close that out. I think there's another poll in a little bit, but back to, um, uh, back to the uh, task at hand. So you sign up, you log in, and then you're like, oh, I'd want to do some other stuff. Uh, go to help for starters, you know, drag and drop, play around, uh, but do those, do the uh, tutorials. Um, you can check out projects. These are basically links to uh, a demo project we have out on the internet. And then uh, videos, if you want to check out a couple little videos, they're good. This is where the PDF guide is, so the user guide, that's where it resides. Uh, so you can check that out. Uh, and then you have shortcuts uh, as well. Uh, the shortcut sheet, you know, if you're really gonna use net terrain, you always wanna know how to use shortcuts. That's true of most software, right? Uh, there's a REST guide. So if you wanna check out our REST APIs, you just click on that one, it's a good thing. Anyway, um, so under, I think it's under tutorials maybe, discover the network. If you click on that, it should download what's called the net terrain collector in the bottom left corner. You can see that there's no executable. Uh, you basically download that, you launch it, and then what that'll do is on your local machine, wherever you launched it, it's a Windows, by the way, you got a, it's a, or really a Windows environment. Um, so you launch that, install it, and then it, it looks basically like this, um, the collector. Okay. So uh, what it should pre-populate the net terrain server that you're pointing at, your instance. If for some reason it doesn't, then I need to uh, come over here and I Grab this bit here, and uh, let's see, server, and then I would put that in my user and password, test connection, and I'd be good to go. Um, 
if you want to do discovery, there's an SNMP discovery tool. There's other connectors too, AWS, Azure, Nmap, NSX, et cetera, SolarWinds, ServiceNow, Spectrum, and so on. So their, their task is to discover data and then push data into NetTerrain uh, in some form or fashion, depending. Now the SNMPs, um, you know, if you're trying to do a discovery, you're trying to get out there and find out what's in your network, uh, I'd probably start with SNMP. You do have to know, of course, some things like what's my community string, you know, what are my credentials, what version of SNMP and I'm, am I using IP address, IP address ranges and, and so on, right? So you need to uh, be able to do, um, you know, do those things. So um, anyhow, so you come and configure this, you enable your IP range or ranges, and then you, uh, you know, do the task at hand, which is discovery. So you come over here and you basically do a scan and it would go through and do its SNMP discovery and discover things and then you push the data into the server. And you can set it up to do this on a more automated fashion as well. But there's other connectors too. This isn't really about the collector and all those things. It's about the SAS, but this allows you to do that discovery and push the data, but you also have other connectors. So if you're using Spectrum or SolarWinds or ServiceNow, you basically put in users and passwords and API information, and then you can pull data from those systems and push that into uh, NetTerrain as well. So, um, so that's one way to collect data and start to build some documentation. Uh, let me see, I think there's another polling question I'm gonna launch just for a second here. What's your chief concerns about using automated network documentation? Time to get started, cost, usability, integrating and bringing in different data sources and manpower required. It's a little of everything. So I talked about, you know, using the, the discovery tool that can help in some of these areas, right? Time to get started um, and, you know, manpower required. Um, cost, well, it can hopefully hold the cost down as far as the manpower goes and software costs, right? Usability, obviously important. Uh, integrating and bringing in different data sources. Now that's what the collector is all about. Um, can help you do that. We also, in addition to, um, you know, these sort of capabilities of doing that discovery. You can also do things like um, Excel import. So we have option for that. So for instance, um, I'm gonna end this poll. Number one, usability. Number two, close number two, 40%. Integrating and bringing in different data sources, then manpower and then time. Cost wasn't an issue, so be sure to uh, charge you guys accordingly. No one seems to worry about money. That's great. No, I'm just kidding. Um, close that out. All right. So collector, get data. We can also do this import, Excel import, right? Excel. Uh, there's a spreadsheet that we have, a format you would follow, import. I can build a project top to bottom, you know, everything I showed you, create connections, create hierarchy, bring in devices, bring in racks, bring in nodes, bring in cards, subcomponents links, fiber, fiber strands, and so on. So these are all things you can do with uh, an Excel import. So between Excel, using the collector, uh, we have another tool called the integration toolkit, which allows you to connect the data sources like tables and views. Uh, between those three things, if you have data, we should be able to import it in some form or fashion. Um, the ITK is a little bit harder with respect to the web. The collector you can use with the web, it's no problem, it's all APIs. The, um, the integration toolkit, if you have database tables, that's a little different. Those you'd probably have to convert out if you're using the web to, to something like Excel, unless you have a dedicated uh, sort of uh, instance of net terrain in the cloud, then we can set up firewalls and stuff for you. But, but anyway, um, with that said, that's sort of the overview of our cloud offering, you know, netterrain.com, go out there, sign up, test drive it. If you have questions, let us know. If you have more questions about it, you can ask now. You can always reach out to us later. Um, and hopefully it's not too hard to get started and the usability is pretty good. <laughs> it's obviously very important to people. So, so that's a good thing. Uh, let me go see if there's any questions. I'm gonna just stop my share here. And uh, let's see what kind of Q&A I got going on. 
Do you have or think an integration with Grafana for showing network graphs? I don't, uh, not out of the box. Now, Grafana's got APIs or some way of connecting and driving data. Um, you know, we can, we can do integrations with most any system, especially if they have APIs. Our collector's built so we can build connectors pretty quickly and easily using APIs from other companies. Uh, but Grafana specifically, no. I, I know we don't have anything out of the box right now for that. So if there's any other questions, go ahead and post them. I'll give you guys a minute to decide if you do have any questions. <laughs> and then we can go, uh, go from there. But. So, I don't see anything else. Um, so just reach out to us, um, graphicalnetworks.com or go to netterrain.com and try things out. And again, if you have questions, just reach out to us, let us know. Thanks everybody for attending. Really appreciate your time as always. And uh, everybody stay safe out there. And uh, hopefully one day we'll run into each other. Take care. Bye-bye.